it is late. I'm in bed. That's what couponers do. When we laying down, we search for deals. Um, me working at JCPenney, something just told me to go on air in the brand new Born This Way Matte Foundation. They have for $10, which is weird because the regular price of that foundation is almost $40. So this is going to be part one of the video. When the foundation come in, we're going to demo it. And you saw what I paid. That's proof. All right, y'all. So y'all saw the first part of the video. Here it is. It arrives. I'll put in my email. Um... The, when it was shipped because some people think on these glitches and deals that we be BS and I'm telling you being a part of the coupon community is not all about food grocery and all that it's some of everything now before I get started this is in the same shape as the concealer but it is the matte foundation I got it in the shade chestnut you're still getting one ounce of product and as you can see it retails for forty dollars Quick story about this, I went into Sephora for two weeks in a row in my local mall looking for this and it's still not in the store. Day after the glitch, I went in the store and had her pull it up and it was pulling up for $40 on JCPenney website. I don't know what happened that night, but as you can see, I got mine for $10. Let's get it Now getting into the foundation, it says it's a 24-hour matte oil control foundation. However, it is infused with rose extract hyaluronic acid so which makes me think that you stay matte but it won't look hella drying which is a good thing because I primed underneath um more moisturizing so my skin is a little bit on the drier side so I don't shy away from matte foundations I just prime underneath with a more moisturizing primer if that makes sense I know the whole goal is but you want to stay matte. I do, but I don't want to look dry and cakey. So I'm headed to work. So I wish this was like, this is not my normally normal mass makeup routine. I'll do another routine in that. But I want to test this throughout the, the pot day. brush from Real Techniques is B. And if you don't know what shade you'll be in Too Faced, um, if you have the regular Born This Way, I'm chestnut, so I just went chestnut in the matte. And it did have me thinking, like, should I went up one? Because you know mattes oxidize more and dry down. But I think it's pretty good. It's looking real skin-like. What y'all think? Another thing to keep in mind, too. Why didn't you drop this at the beginning of summer? When everybody was looking for matte. I don't know, but I got it on. I'm going to finish the rest of my face and come right back. That's going to be a quick one because I'm going to check in with y'all throughout the day with a mask on at work. So if it starts to rub off, we're not going to judge that. We're just going to judge the parts that it stayed on. It said 24 hours, but I ain't trying to have on makeup 24 hours, so it don't matter. I just want a wear test, but I will tell y'all this. It's not a drying matte. I don't know if it's because of my primer, but it feel comfortable. But even on the back of my hand, it felt comfortable. Unlike some mattes, um, Estee Lauder Double Wear, even Fenty, it dries fast. So you can feel it season up on you. This is not doing that. So, so far, okay, I so turned the lights down some. I'm ready for work. I wear a white shirt, so I didn't put my shirt on yet. But, y'all, this is how it's looking. I feel like I'm going to like it already because, it's, again, it's not giving me that drying matte. And I feel real flawless. I didn't go in with a lot of setting powder. For one, I work in an environment where I'm always moving. It's going to rub off on the mask. I didn't want too much powder on top of a matte foundation anyway. So I'm going to check in with y'all throughout the rest of the day. And when I get home, probably about 10. It's 1130 right now. I'll probably check in back with y'all about 1030 tonight. And I'm pretty sure I have over to be rubbed off mask area. Keep that in mind. But... I'm, we we cool so far. Okay, Too Faced. Okay, so see, that's the matte foundation I got on the mask. is doing good. <laughs> Y'all, it is about midnight. I've been off since 7 o'clock, but I had errands to run and look. 
to say I had on a mask all day throughout the check-in video, you can see where it kind of left an impression, but it all has smoothed out. And to say this is a matte foundation, I'm kind of dewy, but that's that's to be expected. But I've worked all day at Busy Ass Bath and Body Works doing all these sales. We were busy. The makeup wasn't rubbing off. I am thoroughly impressed. Now, again, how I got this for the price, it was a glitch. Um, even if you're not a couponer, a scream coupon or whatever, hashtag coupon community on Instagram was going to be one of the best hashtags you can follow because we stay up on the latest deals and steals. Now, if I had to pay $40 for this, like once I had got a sample and saw how I did, I would have gladly done that. But the fact that I got this for $10, $5 shipping, let's say $15, I am thoroughly impressed, y'all. And look, if I was to blot this down, it would be okay, but it's midnight and I'm going to wash my face. A comfortable mat, I'm here for it. So, to say I've been going to work with eyes only done and a little bit of concealer around here, wearing a white shirt, I will be doing this routine more often. I got so many compliments today on the eye look, just how I had under the eye set, because from the mask, you could have still see this part. Um, and I'm here for it, and y'all need to be here for it too. So, if a dry skin, if a combo dry skin person like me can rock this, then... A dry skin person with a matte definitely can rock this. And I know that sounds odd. But remember, I primed with a moisturizing primer. And I put on moisturizer beforehand. And I am here for it. And I'm hella sleepy. Got surgery on Monday. Pray for me. And I'm going to see y'all on the next video. Y'all will be like, well, and you got your own candles? Yes. But I still go buy $3.99 all these candles, right? Same thing with Bath & Body Works. Bath & Body Works is like unfuckable.